Imagine waking up to breaking satellite images showing something the world wasn't supposed to see yet, a massive, camouflaged missile battery being quietly moved into position on Russian soil. Analysts zoom in, enhance, and freeze. The shape, the configuration, the radar array, it's unmistakable. This isn't an S-400. This isn't an S-300. This is Russia's most secretive next-generation air defense system, the S-500 inches Promete. A weapon designed not just to shoot down aircraft, but to hunt stealth fighters, crush hypersonic missiles, and even track targets in near space. For years, this system has existed in rumors, in blurry test footage, in classified documents. But now, it has been spotted, and the military world is on alert. Because if the S-500 is finally entering real deployment, everything about air warfare just changed. So today, we're going deep into what this system can actually do, how it works, what makes it so terrifying, and why this single sighting is sending shockwaves through NATO, the US Air Force, and every country depending on air superiority. And trust me, once you understand the capabilities behind this thing, you'll see why this sighting is one of the most important defense developments of the decade. The S-500 isn't just another upgrade in Russia's long air defense tradition. It's the culmination of decades of engineering focused on a single goal, building a protective dome that nothing, not stealth jets, not hypersonic weapons, not ballistic missiles, can break through. While the S-400 was built to counter aircraft and cruise missiles, the S-500 was built for a completely different battlefield. It's meant to fight in an environment where threats travel at Mach 10, where stealth aircraft are nearly invisible, and where space itself becomes a combat zone. What makes the S-500 so advanced is its layered detection system. Unlike older air defenses that rely on one main radar, the S-500 uses a network of high-frequency and extremely high-range radars working together. These radars can track up to 10 ballistic targets simultaneously and detect objects as far as 2,000 kilometers away. That means a launch anywhere across entire regions of Europe or Asia could instantly appear on its screens. And because these radars are tuned to pick up signatures beyond the atmosphere, the S-500 is one of the few ground systems on Earth designed to intercept objects in near-space trajectories. But what really sets the S-500 apart is its claim, a claim Russia repeats again and again, that it can take down fifth-generation stealth aircraft like the F-35 and the F-22. Now, whether that's true or exaggerated is up for debate. But the technology behind the system tells us one thing, if anything on the ground can challenge stealth fighters, it's the S-500. Instead of relying on traditional radar reflections, S-500 radars scan for ionized air disturbances, heat signatures, and micro-reflections that even stealth coatings can't fully hide. In simple terms, it doesn't look for the plane, it looks for the disturbances the plane creates. The missile technology is another leap. The S-500 uses multiple interceptor types, each designed for different threats. The most famous is the 77N6N1, an anti-ballistic missile interceptor capable of reaching hypersonic speeds. This missile isn't just fast, it's smart. It can perform mid-course corrections, track multiple objects in high-velocity environments, and target maneuvering warheads that older systems simply can't hit. And unlike the S-400's missiles, some S-500 interceptors are believed to use hit-to-kill technology, meaning they destroy targets with direct kinetic impact instead of detonation, the same method used by the USTHAAD system. The new sighting also tells us something more. Serious. Russia may be accelerating deployment. Until now, the S-500 was mostly shown in parades, limited test footage, and controlled demonstrations. But seeing it positioned strategically suggests Russia may be preparing for a long-term air defense transformation. If the system spreads across Moscow, Kaliningrad, Crimea, and the Arctic, it could form a defensive shield covering thousands of kilometers. For NATO planners, that means every mission, reconnaissance, deterrence flights, bomber patrols, suddenly becomes riskier. Now let's talk about hypersonic missiles, the biggest threat of modern warfare. These weapons travel at speeds so fast, most defenses can't even track them, let alone intercept them. Russia claims the S-500 can intercept hypersonic glide vehicles in mid-flight. 
If that's true, and some analysts believe it is, the S-500 would be one of the few systems on Earth capable of shooting down weapons that even the world's top militaries fear. Imagine a missile coming in at Mach 8, weaving, diving, and still being locked on by the S-500. That alone makes this system revolutionary. Another major capability is anti-satellite potential. While Russia denies it officially, leaked documents and analysis suggest that certain S-500 interceptors could reach altitudes high enough to target low-orbit satellites. That means communication satellites, surveillance satellites, and military GPS systems could be at risk in the event of a major conflict. In a world where every modern army depends on space-based intelligence, taking out satellites is equivalent to blinding the enemy. The new sighting also gives us clues about the S-500's mobility. Unlike older heavy systems, the S-500 appears to be more modular and faster to deploy. The launch vehicles, command centers, and radar systems are designed to move quickly across vast distances, making the system extremely hard to target. This mobility means Russia can reposition its defenses based on threats, turning any region into a high-risk zone in a matter of hours. So what does this mean for the world? First, the appearance of the S-500 signals a shift in global air defense strategy. The US and NATO have been investing heavily in stealth aircraft, believing they can penetrate most defenses. But if the S-500 performs even half as well as advertised, it challenges that doctrine. It forces new strategies, new countermeasures, and potentially new aircraft designs. Second, nations neighboring Russia must rethink their airspace security. The range and detection capabilities of the S-500 mean it can influence air operations far beyond Russia's borders. Finally, this system marks the beginning of a new era, a battlefield where speed, stealth, and altitude no longer guarantee safety. A battlefield where space and air merge into one domain, and where ground-based systems like the S-500 may soon dominate. The sighting of Russia's S-500 isn't just a military update, it's a warning. A signal that the rules of modern warfare are evolving fast. And whether the world is prepared for this next phase, is another question entirely. Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time as we explore more of the world's most advanced military technologies.